Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. DeepSeek has just open sourced this groundbreaking result about a new type of attention mechanism and in this video I am going to explain it to you in as simple words as possible. I am not expecting you to be machine learning engineer so we will keep it sweet, short and simple. This paper which you see on your screen introduces a new attention mechanism called as native sparse attention. This has been designed for efficient long context inference and training in language models. Now, if you don't know what attention mechanism is or attention is, what this means is that it is a mechanism in machine learning that helps models focus on important parts of the input data when making predictions. An attention mechanism allows the model to weigh different parts of the input data differently so that it can concentrate on the most relevant information for a given task. This improves the model's performance, especially in tasks like language translation and mainly text generation. So this paper introduces native sparse attention or NSA, which is a new type that has been focusing on efficient long context inference. The traditional attention mechanism in models often face challenges with computational costs, especially when dealing with long sequences of data. NSA or native sparse attention addresses this by leveraging sparsity, which means processing only essential parts of the data instead of everything to reduce the computational burden without sacrificing performance. And by the way, that is the same difference which we see when we talk about dense models and sparse models, especially the mixture of expert models. Now, there are few key features of this model. For instance, one of the things which really uh, caught my eye from the paper was that dynamic hierarchical sparse strategy. This involves organizing data in a way that focuses computational efforts where they are most needed. This strategy balances global context awareness with local precision by compressing tokens on a course level and selectively retaining the finer details of the important tokens. Then we have hardware alignment. NSA is optimized for modern hardware to ensure that theoretical computational savings translate into real-world speed improvements. It uses efficient design that work well with hardware to avoid bottlenecks. Then we have training efficiency. NSA facilitates end-to-end -end training, which reduces the burden during model training while preserving or enhancing performance. This is really crucial for real-world applications where both fast inference and efficient training are needed. The paper shows that NSA performs comparably or even better than traditional full attention models in various tasks, including general language evaluation, long context and reasoning tasks. Importantly, NSA provides significant speed improvements during decoding and training stages over these models with more pronounced benefits as the sequence length increases. Overall, NSA represents a step forward in making sparse attention both practical and effective by addressing both computational efficiency and training capability challenges. Now, <clears throat> if you are wondering what exactly is the importance of this, so I believe uh, fr from the vibe which I'm getting from this uh, paper is that this is the type of attention which they have used in deep sea carbon and that has made it so different so unique so performant from rest of the lot because if you look at this architectural diagram from the left if you start the framework is processing input sequences through three parallel attention branches for a given query preceding keys and values are processed into compressed attention for coarse grain patterns selected attention for important token blocks and sliding attention for local context. And on the right hand side, there is a visualization of different attention patterns produced by each branch. Green areas indicate regions where attention scores need to be computed, while white areas represent regions that can be skipped and that makes it so, so efficient. Now, there are a lot of other information which you can check out on their model card. For example, this is a comparison of 
performance and efficiency between full attention model and the NSA which I already have gone into detail before and the point which you need to take from this is that despite being sparse NSA surpasses full attention baseline on average across general benchmarks long context tasks and reasoning evaluation for example on the right hand side if you see for 64k length sequence processing NSA achieves substantial computational speed up compared to full attention in all st stages decoding forward propagation and backward propagation so pretty cool i would say and i'm more than sure not only existing deep seek is using it but various future models are going to start using this native sparse attention because this is what i believe is a secret sauce behind deep seek r1 and all of these reading reasoning model i'm even willing to say that uh, maybe OpenAI has been using the same or similar sort of architecture and attention behind their recent model which make them so cool with reasoning but of course they are not open weights they are not open source but we don't know so really good on DeepSeek for releasing this native sparse attention and open sourcing it so that the community could benefit and anyone could go and then build maybe on top of it now before i let you go let me also introduce you to our very good friend at camelii who are sponsoring this video camelii.org is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agent with applications in data generation task committee automation and world simulation so do check them out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thank you for watching.